Mark. Mark cooks and eats things. It's one of those nights, just got home from work, don't have a lot of time to mess around. I've done no prep at all tonight for dinner, but hey, person still got to eat. So I'm on the internet thinking like, what am I going to do? I've got a bunch of these frozen cod fillets and uh, had no time to thaw them out. What to do? What to do? What to do? Did my internet research and came across something called Torsk from Scandinavia and this recipe well, in Scandinavian, Torsk means cod. So tonight we're making cod. Um, the way this recipe works basically is that it's using frozen cod, you boil it first, and then you broil it afterwards. Funny enough, researching this recipe, I found the exact same recipe from a, a website in Wisconsin where they call it poor man's lobster. So tonight we're making Torsk, cod, poor man's lobster, depending on where you're from. And here's what we've got. All right now, so, you see what we have. The ingredients are really basic for the boil. We've got the frozen cod fillets. We've got a cup of sugar. We've got a couple tablespoons of salt. And we've got six cups of water. Now, this is kind of one of those things where I'm going to put all this in, in a big pot on the stove and bring it to a boil. And if there's not enough water, if it's not covered with everything, I'll just add more water to it. But the sugar and salt content won't change at all. We'll bring it to a boil. We'll let it boil for about three to five minutes until it's kind of cooked all the way through, or frozen, unthawed anyway. And then it's going to go into the oven on low uh, in the broiler. And we'll come back to see that part when we get there. So, I added all the water, the salt, the sugar to the pot. I turned the heat on and uh, made sure everything was well incorporated. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to put in all the fish fillets and let it come up to a boil. Once it hits a boil, I'm going to turn the heat down to medium. And I'm going to leave it at medium, three to five minutes. I'm going to guess five minutes for this many fillets and the thickness of the wrap. And uh, definitely enough water in there. That's it. So it's out of the out of the boil now. It's uh, pretty much all cooked. I've uh, I've brushed a bunch of melted butter on it, and now it says you just sprinkle it with paprika. I've also squeezed some fresh lemon over it all. There we go. And now we're going to put this into the oven under the broiler. The broiler's at low. And this should go into the top third of your oven. And now we're going to leave this in here until it browns up. And the fish cooks all the way until it's, it's flaky when you, hit with it, when you touch it with a fork. So, since we're broiling, we want to leave the door open just that little bit. And just as a side note, what we're serving with this tonight, before I get the water up for boil, is bulgur. I think bulgur is one of those underused foods. It, and again, this is a meal, coming home from work, just trying to get dinner made as fast as I freaking can. This is simple. Boil a little water, throw the bulgur in it, give it a stir, set it aside, wait 15 minutes. Cooked. Done. Ready to eat. Beautiful stuff. So come back in probably another five or seven minutes when the uh, when the, the cod is finished. So it's out of the oven now. It's plated up. I put a little bit more melted butter over the top of it. And like you say, this is referred to as uh, as the poor man's lobster in Wisconsin. Um, I'm thinking they're very landlocked. Well, you know what? I kind of get it. If you think about lobster while you're eating it, you can kind of get the flavor of it. So, yeah. This is the bulgur. We added some fresh parsley to it as well. I love bulgur. Mm. It's fantastic. Crunchy, nutty, delicious. Anyway, Torsk, Scandinavian cod. Absolutely delicious. Um, if you're in Wisconsin, they call it poor man's lobster. And, uh, and it's really good. Give it a try.